In AGI 32 version 14.4, we introduced a stealthy little feature called Luminaire Tags. This was developed after two manufacturers in a large national account came to us with a problem related to contractors not understanding which Luminaire types go where. The problem was especially prevalent when two different Luminaires are mixed on one pole. The solution was to allow a non-unique identifier, we call it a tag, to be assigned to each Luminaire definition. Then we can label each individual luminaire in an arrangement with that tag, and we can summarize quantity for the tag as well. Let's take a closer look. Opening the Luminaire Define dialog, you can see this simple project has six different arrangements, plus a group, but there are really only three different luminaires. There's a 100 watt LED, a 150 watt LED, and a 100 watt wall mounted version. Otherwise, we have back-to-back -back versions of the 150 watt, back-to-back -back versions of the 100 watt, and a triple 3 at 120 degree arrangement for the 150 watt. Selecting the 150 watt single arrangement, we can see we have a tag assigned of A. The 100 watt luminaire has a tag B. And the 100 watt wall mounted luminaire has tag BW. Groups cannot be assigned a tag because they'll actually appear with whatever tags are composing the group. You can see this group has a 150 and a 100 in the same pole top arrangement. Some manufacturers have a luminaire designation that is anywhere from two to six or maybe even more characters and these tags are actually somewhere on the physical luminaire. When they all come out of the box the contractor can still ID what the luminaire really is. That's where we got the word tag, by the way. Let's open the Luminaire Labels command. Normally, you would label the Luminaire insertion point, and you would probably turn on the label. And in the old way of doing things, you would have the label assigned to the arrangement or the group. And your labels would look pretty much like this. Triple Luminaire, and here's the group. Let's go back and open the labels dialog again. This time, let's try a tag. Turn off the label, and instead of labeling the arrangement of the group, let's label the individual luminaires in the arrangement of the group. Now we can see the group has one luminaire with tag A and one luminaire with tag B. This triple, these are all luminaire tag A. Now let's look at the schedules. There is a new schedule type called a tag summary. It's a simple summation of tag quantity. Think in terms of individual luminaires. There are 36 individual luminaires with tag A. We also have tags in the luminaire schedule along with the label. Then perhaps the best clarification we actually have is a tag column with the quantity of that tag in parentheses for each pole location. This is in the Luminaire Location Summary. So, there we go with yet another way to summarize your work. And, by the way, use of tags is completely optional.